920 to me. 920 to you, yep. The uh, one to the left would be good. Is that him falling? Is that him? Okay, I'm only looking through the camera and I'm shaking like a leaf. 9.25 and about a, well, there's 11, 11 to 12 mile an hour wind right to left where we are. Beautiful. I'm just going to zoom back into where we were shooting. Sorry about it all over the place. Just trying to find the gate. There it is. Good boy, thanks Sarge. Good boy. Holy shit, I mean, <laughs> wow. Holy heck, Ross's idea was that we shoot a light nanny goat to see what it would do. It would be more interesting than seeing what would happen if we hit a big billy goat. 9 At 930 yards, whatever it was, <laughs> it's on the video. Holy heck, that's a keeper that bullet. Wow. Alright, there's the point of entry. It's just sort of nicked the lungs and then already it's showing um, quite a, an amount of damage. Now it was actually travelling because of the wind, uh, it was travelling that way in that direction, not straight across because they never do when you get that much wind. So it came out and it hit the liver which is behind the lungs. As you can see it destroyed the liver and then um, came through to here and left this um, fairly large exit wound here. So I think it's great because you'd be able to do light animals through to some very, very um, heavy body animals by the, that rate of um, fragmentation. Yep. Okay, this goat was shot at um, a range of 430... 450. 450 yards, was it? Um, with a 7mm practical firing the 190 grain um, matrix VLD. Muzzle velocity was 3,088 feet per second average. Um, it was shot from the top down. So it shot through the back, down this way, and out through here. Uh, we shot from above, we were shooting down at an angle of about 10 degrees. Come in through the back. You can actually see where some of the fragments have hit the rib cage here. Passed through into the brisket here gone through here, through the neck, arrested at the uh, skin here, which is very tough on a billy goat of this age. The bullet has tried to exit there, not quite being able to come out, and here are the fragments remaining. We've got bits of jacket, a bit of the core, and here we have the actual um, the, the cup, the main part of the jacket. It's really, really done a number. Okay, this goat here was shot at 470 yards. And um, we were up high and the wind was quite rough. It was very hard to see what was going on. And now if I find the goat, I see that I've shot it a long way back. Like for a rear lung shot, you'd want to be hitting it in this area here if you're testing a bullet in the absence of bone, uh, in the absence of heavy bone. But as you can see, I've come way, way back here and the point of the exit is here, which is a little bit further forwards, but still nothing flash. He dropped just about on the spot, didn't he, Ross? Yep. Um, One or two steps. So it just nailed him. 
perfect, absolutely perfect. We'll cut them open and see what's going on the inside. So this um, is the rear of the lungs on the second goat. Um, the bullets hit back across in, in the liver. Here, destroyed the liver completely and then struck the rear of the lungs because the bullet angled through the body due to the, uh, the wind drift. So it was, it was quite a severe wind by the look of it. Mm. So there's the um, exit wound through the uh, rear ribs. There's where the ribs end here. And so you can see how the rear of the lungs was taken out as the bullet passed through. Made quite a hole. 